Hello out there to you. Let's do this problem. Looks kind of simple, but it gets a little complicated. Get my calculator back out here. Suppose a firm has startup costs equal to 100,000 rupees and marginal costs are constant in 50 rupees. So each unit is going to cost us an additional 50 rupees. What are the average total costs to produce 10,000 units uh, and 20,000 units? And then how many units do we have to produce to become profitable if the marginal price equals, or the, sorry, the market price equals 100 rupees? So that means that the price is 100. Uh, what is the break-even uh, quantity? Okay, so uh, when that market price is there. Okay, so let's uh, do a couple of uh, formulas here. So average total cost is going to be the total cost divided by quantity. Okay. And then um, profit is going to be total revenue minus total cost. So we've got those. Okay, so in this first case, uh, this 100,000 rupees, that represents our uh, fixed cost. Okay, they don't change based on how many we produce. The marginal cost is going to drive uh, what the total cost really is. Okay, so for what we want to know is what is the total cost when we produce 10,000 units. Okay, so it's going to be 100,000 times, oops, sorry, plus. 50 rupees, now this times 10,000. Okay, and this one we can actually do in our head, that's 500,000 plus 100,000, so this first one is uh, 600,000. And I, I am gonna type this, it's a little easier, just to type it here. And uh, so that was total cost, equals 100,000 plus 50 rupees times 10,000 and that gives us a rupee total cost of 600,000 and then if I want the average total cost of that I just need to divide it, so average total cost, in this case, 600,000 rupees divided by 10,000, okay, um, which is pretty easy, I could probably do it in my head, but, uh, well, yeah, I can, it's just 600 divided by uh, 10, so it's 60 rupees, okay, and just to check it, we'll just check it here, 600,000 divided by, 10,000, yep, 60. Okay, so that's uh, 60 for that one. Now let's do the other one here. We'll do that in purple color here. Okay, so for quantity of 200,000, or 20,000 rather, geez. Um, I need to get, get the calculator, or get the uh, total cost here. And so this is still gonna be uh, ten, or the uh, startup cost there of 100,000 rupees plus 50 rupees times 20,000, which uh, in this case is that's a million, okay, because it's double what that is. And so this one is 1.1 1 .1 million rupees. Um, and then for the average total cost. Take the 1.1 1. 1 million rupees, divide that by 20,000. And if I'm doing that by hand, I can get rid of these last three zeros. So it's really going to just be 1,100 divided by 20, and I get 55. 
is so 55. So the average total cost has fallen. So I'm experiencing some economies of scale. Okay, good for us. Okay, how many units do they need to produce in order to become profitable? So I've got this relationship: total revenue equals total cost. Total revenue is price times quantity. So we were told that the price is 100 rupees. So let's do this in uh, black, and we'll do this in bold. So it's a little easier to see. Okay. So uh, I want a situation where I'm basically breaking even. Um, so I want zero to equal uh, total revenue. Okay. And I'm not forget about that zero part. I just want them to equal each other. So total revenue is going to be 100 rupees times Q. I don't know that quantity yet. And then um, where the total cost is going to be 100,000 rupees plus our 50 per unit cost or marginal cost times Q. Okay. So this is just an algebra problem. 100Q equals 100,000 plus 50Q. And so now let's just take that over to the other side. It's 50Q equals 100,000. And then Q equals, let's put it in the calculator just so I make sure I get the right answer here. 100,000 divided by 50 is 2,000 units. So I need to produce at least 2,000 units to become profitable.